at this point of my life, I have nothing else left to prove half of the hell you've been through. The people who knew you the best thought you wouldn't even survive it. I have nothing left to prove. I paid big bills with little money. I've been kind to nasty people. I've won when they thought I was going to lose. I've lost when they thought I was going to win. I've been up. I've been down. I've been happy, been healthy, been sick. And after I look back over my life and think things over, I have nothing else. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. Y'all, I should have brought y'all with me, but let me tell you how. When you see a deal, you run to it. Y'all know I've been searching for these um, counter stools for the kitchen for forever. Every time I try to buy them, they're out of stock or something. And I've been going back and forth about them, but baby, yesterday I sold a mirror that I had um, on Facebook. So today I got up and I'm just like, oh, I need to put it as sold. Went on Facebook. As soon as I went on there to mark the mirror as sold, Hold on, where's my coffee? Hold on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was drinking coffee, so I'm extra hyper. Extra hyper, okay? Um, so as soon as I went on there, put it as sold, I seen the counter stool that I've been trying to buy. Someone was selling it, so I'm just like, sir. And he was selling it $200. So I said to him, hey, this is listed as new. Is it like new, you know, kind of used a little bit because <laughs> you know how people be trying to be funny and he's like no it's brand new and i'm like really he's like yeah it's in the box i'm like okay so it's a little suspect you know he's selling them for 200 dollars online right now they're 310 on wayfair i'm like i bet i'm like why you didn't like them when you got them or something and then he was just like they're beautiful but they didn't fit like how i wanted them to so I'm like, damn. And then I'm like, where are you located? And the man was like nine minutes from my house. And I'm like, ooh. And then he's like, when do I want to get them? I'm like, as soon as you're available, can we get them now? And he's like, yeah. But he only has one. He had three, but someone bought the two. I drove over there. I called Noel on the phone, you know, for moral support because we're not getting kidnapped. It's 2023. You got to be careful. You don't be pulling up places and nobody knows where you are, okay? So Noel's on the phone the whole time. He knew where I was. And then once I got there, I realized, okay, you know, it's safe over here, but you know, you gotta be careful. <laughs> and then he showed it to me. It was actually in the box, as y'all can see. I'm gonna, I think he forgot to take the shipping stuff with his address off. Baby, rip me out of plastic. I take it out and see how it fits. And then I need to order two more. I have them in my cart, like up to yesterday, I was on Wayfair like, yo, Let's close your eyes and buy them and be done. I was going back and forth so much with myself. I even tried to like, yo, the Denver Modern ones were the one that I wanted, but those are like $2,000 for the three. And I was going back and forth and I'm like, just do it, you know, it's a quality item. And then I'm just like, no, because you move and change your mind a lot, no. So I was on Wayfair. Let me show y'all my phone as soon as it loads up to just to show you that i'm not even capping up to yesterday i was on wayfair look and they had like a 10 percent promo thing going on so the total for the three would have been 9 11. wait i don't know if y'all can see but they had this promo thing going on so the three would have come up to 9 11 okay and i'm like bump it i'm gonna buy it but guess what baby we just got one for two hundred dollars okay so we don't need three anymore you only need two and then on wayfair it's 633 for the two so oh wait 607 with a discount okay we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna buy this it's been a week today is saturday this whole week i did nothing productive well, I went to the gym five days. That, that's discipline, that's not even being productive because I didn't feel like it, but I went five days. Um, nonetheless, I didn't record anything. I didn't put out any videos. I don't know what was going on this week. It kind The week kind of just went like, brrr, like it just ended so quickly and every day I was just not feeling it. I was not feeling my best and I just didn't feel like doing nothing, so I did nothing. And I feel like I was having a very trying week a few brands, well, two brands that I was dealing with was giving me mad issues. So I had a really trying week. And then 
Someone was supposed to come and do an accent wall. That was disastrous. Getting a new date and then till the person kind of just ghosted me. So I'm just like, what the heck? And then someone was supposed to come and saw the drapes in the kitchen and saw the drapes in um, my son's room, changed the drapes in my room. They didn't show up neither. And then they pushed me back to next week. Then the guy was supposed to come to install my TV. He was supposed to come Thursday. Thursday, Thursday, he couldn't come neither. Something happened. Then I thought he was coming yesterday. That did not happen. And then he's like, oh, it's Saturday at 1 p.m. Well, now it's 1224. So if he does not show up today, I'm just gonna say bump it. I'm gonna take the TV and return it and get my money back. Cause at this point, we don't need a TV. Let me take the stool out because I didn't got my lick back. Like, <laughs> I was so miserable all week, baby, but this just this just made it better. There we go. They do fit. I love my one bar stool. Okay, it's so cute. Um, I did go ahead and order the other two off Wayfair. We're finally getting the TV installed, so let's see how this goes. I try to know. He's gonna install the TV up in there. the little cord i think it'll be fine behind the thing william i was going to put the cord in the wall guys to be honest but then um i decided not to thread the cord in the wall and i also was going to buy a kit where he could cut the wall out and put everything in the back but that sounds like a little bit too much like work and it's a little bit too permanent and you know me um so i don't want to do that I don't want to do that so i'm just gonna leave it for now because when i switch like spaces or whatever i can just easily take it off the wall without going through the work the box is behind this i think behind the sofa hid the box pretty well so the box is right there and it's hid behind there but um yeah for now i'm gonna leave it like that hey babes happy 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 sunday i am super late for church but i just wanted to check in i mean it's a 30 minute drive that's what the gps is saying and it's like 10 17 so we're definitely gonna leave noel is already like almost at church and your girl is still in the house i wanted to just let you know what i'm wearing my hair y'all i got this headband with from amazon because my hair was down real bad and i'm getting my hair done on tuesday so i don't want to look too crazy today so i got this little headband situation did a little edges and this is the look i did a slight makeup look i didn't even do lashes or nothing i just wanted to look you know a little bit put together i have a denim shirt on wow a denim shirt on i have jeans and i have my mid jordans on so i feel like it's such a cute like little denim fit i did wear this before but i never like showed it to you guys and i'm carrying this bag and i'll have my sunglasses here very casual because me and noel have something to do afterwards so very like dressed down but still put together kind of vibe for church today i'm about to head out because yeah i should not be in here doing this church starts at 10 45 let's go let's go i'm gonna do a 30 minute drive in 20 something minutes so bye <laughs> hey babes i just got back from church why was it raining um when i was coming back me and noel we went to have coffee i didn't take my camera i even forgot it was in the back seat to be honest so we went to starbucks we had a little coffee date we catched up and then we went to um we stopped somewhere because he had an appointment so we stopped somewhere and when we came out of the car it was raining cats and dogs and then when we were trying to leave it was raining too the rain fell all over my makeup and in the car i went like this with a napkin and it took everything out so my makeup looks a little fried in the middle but <laughs> church was good and why is it that now that i've gotten back home it's super dry there's no rain florida is so weird so so weird so there's no rain um I stopped and I got some gas. I went to Publix to get eggs. That's all I did. Let me put them away. And guys, today's Sunday. Usually we cook on Sundays, but I'm not cooking. I'm not cooking. I made me some curry chicken yesterday and I'm gonna reheat that. It's a very calm Sunday, so we're not gonna cook. That's it, pretty much. Went to church, had a little, you know, a little coffee date and that's it for the day to be honest now 
I have a video that I think I should make public. I'm really just going to chill for the rest of the day. Um, spend some time with myself, you know, kind of spend some time with God and get like centered a little bit. That's really all that I'm doing. Since I'm not cooking, I don't know what to do with myself, but it's like three o'clock right now. I did stay outside for a while. So yeah, we have a lot of free time. Um, I'm just going to chill, basically. Hey babes, happy, happy Monday. It's Monday. I'm about to go to the gym. I just wanted to, you know, check in, start the day off. Got up, had my greens had my pre-workout well i had protein first took practice for a walk and i just had my pre-workout so we're gonna go get it it's the second day in a new week let's make this week good i feel like it's gonna be a great week hey y'all i've been trying to find a rug forever and i feel like i found the perfect rug like last night i was just like scrolling because i'm always trying to find rugs i'm on so many websites and i feel like i found the perfect rug like the perfect rug and i'm excited about it i think i'm gonna pull the plug and just order it plus we're supposed to get our bar stools well the counter stools the other two so that's pretty exciting and hopefully by the end of this week i will have the curtains in the living room i'll have the ones in my bedroom and the ones in my center room um done properly because yeah i'm tired of the place looking upside down and now we've decided on a carpet it's just time to pull the plug and get it and then i feel like this space is going to come together more so i'm so excited about that i'm gonna head to the gym come back hopefully it's like 9 19 right now i have to meet noel at 12 o'clock so i'm gonna go to the gym probably spend like an hour and a half depending because sometimes it's like full and you can't use the machine so you have to wait so I'm gonna see what time I get back. Hopefully I can get back and have a little breakfast. Then go meet Noelle. And then I have to come back to do my hair. I have a wig to do, y'all. I have a wig a video to do. That's the rest of my pre-workout. But um, I have a wig video to do, which I must do. Because tomorrow I'm going to get my hair done. I'm gonna go get a cut on my hair. Like a, um, it's time to get a relaxer again. So I'm gonna get one. But I'm gonna also have her cut it down. Because I feel like... It's just too much for me to handle, so I want her to make the back like way shorter than it is. So I'm excited about that. So that's why I have to do the wig video today to get it out of the way. From the gym. I'm so tired. Like, I am so exhausted. Look at my hair. I was sweating so bad. The edges were like not really there. And right now it's like 10.44. So I did spend like an hour and a half over there, I think. I think maybe like an hour and a half. I'm extremely exhausted. I have to be somewhere for 12. I need to make some breakfast. I don't have the energy. I don't feel like making breakfast, but I know I need to because I just worked out. And then I have to come back to do the wig. I honestly, I'm going to just put on my, what you call it? My yoga jacket over this and put my sneakers back on and then head to that 12 o'clock um, thing. And then I'm gonna come back and shower, do my hair, do my makeup record this video so we can be done oh my gosh hey guys um let me tell you how i went to my appointment and i came back and then i went straight into doing this hair and doing this video so i literally just got done and then i had to publish a video on youtube so i went to do that i am so hungry i feel so disorientated hopefully i said that right i don't know i feel out of it so i'm gonna go grab me a shower and then i'm gonna come and cook some food i want to take this wig out right now it looks pretty good it came out real nice um i kind of just pinned it up because it was bothering me but i still have to walk paxton so i think i might leave this wig on until after i walk paxton so i'm gonna go grab a shower i really want to take the makeup off first so i can really you know cleanse my body um, and then I'm gonna come cook and I think that's it I'm so tired and I'm so hungry so because I'm hungry and my energy is like this literally so I'm gonna go grab the shower and I'll be right back <laughs> but I just wanted to show y'all that you know we did our makeup two times in a row like I don't know if I'm feeling okay because I never do that you know I can't be bothered nowadays to like do my makeup but it was giving it gave what it was supposed to gave yeah <laughs> so stupid let me you know what i'm gonna go 
So I'm ready. I'm about to head out. I took me a nice shower, did a little bit of skincare, and added some sunscreen to my face. I put my hat on because clearly my hair is a mess. We're gonna head to my hair appointment right now. I'm excited. I wanna see, you know, what my hair looks like afterwards. Even though my hair is not lasting because of the heat over here, I sweat a lot in my hair. So my hair will not last me for more than two days, but it's okay. We still have to get it done. I am due for a relaxer and I wanna get a cut. So let's go. Hey guys, I've just been chilling since I came back. Um, I got some Chick-fil-A and I feel like I messed my hair up already. It was all like everything was to the front. But since I came back, y'all, I went like this because I went to go lay down. I have my Chick-fil-A and I got a package from Amazon. I already opened it, but I'm gonna show it to you. And let me know if I should keep this bag. I think it's really cute. I have a look that I want to do. Let me know if I should keep this one. I have the green one, which I kept. I love the green one, it was so pretty. This one is smaller. It's like way smaller. <laughs> um, but I like that it comes in its own little box and a little dust bag. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow, that's the furry like orange one and literally Oh my god, it looks like the, the puppets on Sesame Street. But I think it looks so good. And it's a smaller one. The green one was bigger. It's the smaller one. And I have a fit. But I feel like it's gonna... It's gonna look good. It's gonna look good with the outfit that I plan to wear it with. I think it's so good. I like it. It's so fluffy and soft. It's a mini bag. I like the little thing right there. I feel like it's gonna look good with the outfit. I have some camel pants that I wanna do an outfit with and I'm gonna do it with a button shirt and then my orange pointy shoe because my toes are a mess. My toes look so crazy, guys. After getting the ingrown sur toenail surgery, my toe still hasn't looked normal. It looks so weird. I'm waiting for it to get a little bit better before I can like go do nail polish or anything like that but let me know if I, should, if I should keep this bag um i'm gonna try her on with the actual outfit tomorrow and then we'll see <laughs> almost four o'clock and i'm just like damn i didn't take my camera up all day that's honestly because i haven't done anything um I got up, I went and I had coffee this morning. I went to get my coffee and grabbed some breakfast at Chick-fil-A and that really was it. Then I came back, I edited a hair video. Um, I still wanna create the reel about my order from Amazon. It said it's gonna be here at 4.40 something, between 4.45 I think to 10.45. So I don't know what the time is. So I decided, you know what, I'm gonna cook me some food cause I'm starving so. I just seasoned some chicken breast because I'm going to make Cajun pasta, Cajun chicken pasta. If you watch my channel, you know I make this all the time, super easy. The chicken breasts were really big, so I just split them in two. I did them in like a butterfly style, I think that's what it is when you cut them in two. And I just seasoned them and I was just like recording it because I'm like, hey, why not, you know, make like a little TikTok with the food that I'm making. So that's really what I'm doing. I woke up, my hair, baby, it's kind of not like how it was yesterday. I'm gonna have to use like some mousse and make the, the sides lay down and then work on the fringe area. But yeah, and I didn't go to the gym guys because I was trying to not make my hair look crazy because you know, once I go to the gym, that's pretty much it for the hair. So I knew I wanted to do the get dressed video. So I decided to not go to the gym. So I've just been here all day. And even though I did edit, I, I just feel like, you know, I haven't done a lot. I feel like so restless. And then 
to top it off where's my water i feel so dehydrated i don't think i've had water like this whole time to top it off i went on west elm to order the rug that i found which i thought was the most perfect rug for the living room it's so beautiful um it's a new rug that they had went on there put it in my card saying pick up from the store i saw it from sunday and I was trying to like, you know, okay, decide we're gonna just pull the plug and just get it. Went on there, um, I tried pick up in store, it added it to the cart. It did say they had limited sizes, a limited quantity, sorry. So I went to add it to the cart to pick up in store versus delivery, cause I could just drive to West Elm. It's a rug, I can handle that. It took it out of my cart when I tried to check out saying it's not available. When I tried to ship to home, it was allowing me to check out so i called them and the girl said it's because that specific rug they only got like four of that size and it's like a new rug and the vendor only sent four to them so i don't know if it was like a trial to see if people were gonna buy it but she says it's gonna come back in stock in october and the reason why it was allowing me to add it to cart is because they were um to check out to ship to home is because they were gonna back order it they're gonna have me pay and then send me an email which was really annoying so i'm just super glad um i call them so we're gonna have to wait till october to get the rug so i feel like i've been so like in my feelings after that because i really wanted to get the rug because i feel like it would make the space you know come together more so there's that um I'm still to get the other two stools, which we did order, which have shipped, so I should get them. It said Friday, today is Wednesday, so let's see how that goes. I'm gonna cook this pasta and, you know, eat something and then do my makeup and then just try to get in the mood of like, okay, we're gonna get dressed. Hopefully I do my makeup and they do deliver it as um, it's like a waste of time if I do my makeup and they don't deliver my thing. So that's pretty much it, y'all. I haven't really been doing nothing and I've been, been feeling like so moody. Like I've been feeling so moody. Hey guys, so it's Thursday. As y'all saw, I was making some coffee earlier. I'm going to make a reel. I was supposed to make this reel since yesterday and it did not happen. So I'm in my bathroom right now. I have all my makeup stuff right here. I'm gonna do my makeup really quickly. But you know, I wanted to kind of, not really give y'all a tutorial, but I just wanted to have y'all with me while I do my makeup. I'm on the phone with my friend. So I'm gonna play some music. I'm not gonna be talking to you while I do the makeup, but that's what we're doing and this is the foundation that I've been using a lot. Like, I have not used my NARS in such a long time. I've only been using the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Foundation. And I mix number 9 with number 10. I am very tan right now. But then um, the 10 is very warm. And then this is too light. So I kind of like mixed it just a little bit to give me a decent shade. So that's what we're using um, for concealer. I've been using the sephora best skin ever concealer and i've been in love so this is what i use on my under eyes and i've been loving this usually i use the makeup forever concealer but i haven't been using this in a while i haven't been reaching for my nars at all this is what i've been using these go to and then for um bronzing i use this lancome concealer it's crazy that they have the lighter color and I don't necessarily like it for my under eyes, but I love it for warming up my face. What else are we gonna use? I think that's like basically what I'm using right now. Then I'm gonna set it with my Laura Mercier and yeah, we'll take it from there. Just ignore how crazy I look right now because of all these powders. But I just got a call from FedEx um, that they're downstairs and my counter stools are here. So I'm excited. That means I don't have to go to the leasing office to stress with trying to figure out how to get them up here. So the guy is on his way up. So 
maybe in like three minutes he'll be outside so I'm gonna just go get them and come finish my makeup and as soon as I'm done with my makeup and doing the reels then we're gonna unbox the stools so excited about that guys the boxes are huge and it's me and my unfinished makeup but you know what we're not gonna talk about that it gonna look right later hold on And probably like what is going on here <laughs> oh my god wow bigger than the one that we got on Saturday I don't know if it's the same chairs why are the boxes so big but I'm gonna go finish my makeup because I look crazy right now and I'll get back to that in a second guys I still look like the walking dead we're not gonna talk about the makeup on the lips it's not come off but I'm gonna put my eyelashes on why is it like 12 38 I was doing my makeup and talking Girl, on Sunday or pastor told us about this thing you know that this scientist came up with it's called the milkshake brain or whatever I think it's something like that like you can't do all the things that you think you're doing all at once and is getting done properly or to the the best ability of your brain like we tend to multitask and because we train our brains to do two things versus one things at a one thing at a time it makes our brain slower like it literally makes your brain slower just so it can manage to do both things all at once which is so crazy because I'm trying to talk on the phone, I'm trying to watch YouTube, and I'm trying to do my makeup. What is going on? Like, something is not going to get done right, and I'm barely going because I'm trying to do everything. But I'm going to get these lashes on. I'm going to take, you know, this off because this looks like we, the walking dead, like we looking bombed right now. But I'm going to take this off, get the lips, refresh my face, and I'm going to come back and I'm going to be snatched, okay? Waiting for this lash to dry. And guys... Why my lash girl had to move back to Dubai? She's from Dubai. She moved back home. And she's moved since um, May. Now it's August. I think May is the last time y'all saw me get my lashes. Like, I think it was in May. Whenever the last time was that I got lashes, y'all, that was the last time. I got them, like, right before she left. So, since she's left, I haven't gotten my lashes done. I haven't been bothering myself to try and figure somebody out who can do my lashes. I've just been out here. But every time I have to do, like, a... A video i'm stressed because i'm just like bro i gotta put my lashes on be right back Hey babes, I just got done with the reel. I feel like this look is giving me like a Tiana Taylor vibes. I don't know why. Maybe it's the earrings, maybe it's the top, maybe it's the pants that I have on, but you're not gonna see what the outfit was. Uh, let me tell you how my pants like tore. The whole, like the waistband, I tried to like pull the pants up and the loop just popped. That's another story. It's like 2.29. Why did I take so long to do this guys? I don't know, but we had some technical difficulties. I made it through. I think I got the clips that I needed. The pants, the waist was bigger than I thought. 
but that needs to see a seamstress. I didn't have time for that. So I used my hair clip and I held the back while I did the video. That's another story, but let me show y'all what it's looking like. It's looking crazy in here. So we're gonna ignore my house right now, but hold on. Oop. Can I show y'all the fit? Um, I don't know if y'all are seeing it. But I feel like the fit went real hard. It's so good. Hold on. Can y'all even see me? Just visualize me without all the extra stuff that's going on in my background. Y'all can't even see it. But I had this top and then these camel cargo pants, which y'all would have seen I got from Fashion Nova. Look at the loop. That thing went pop. And I have a clip in my back to hold it together. But I promise you when I make the video for Instagram, they're not going to even know all that is going wrong. But this a look. Y'all can't tell me nothing. I don't care. Um, that was... A lot of trouble this is the fit like do you see how I use the orange to kind of pop the threads in the pants I don't know if y'all know this but if you see that like it kind of has like orange threads and stuff so I feel like the orange can y'all see it I don't think y'all are seeing my vision but yeah I just felt like an orange on this would be real nasty like it will really pop it out and I think it did that and I got the top from Amazon. So here's the story with this top. But I wanted it a bit bigger than my body, clearly. <laughs> so I wanted like a, a little oversized look so I would have the long sleeve effect like this. Like this is the vibe I was going for. I got an extra large, but however, when I got it, I realized I could have gotten a large. So the sleeves would have still gave me that look, but it would have fit a little bit better up here. But again, no one is gonna notice. They're gonna think everything was like intentional. So this is the fit and I feel like it came out, Bert. It came out. I feel like the only thing that was missing, I should have had some grills. <laughs> I don't know. The whole time I was getting ready, I'm like, bro, if you had like some, not like grills, grills, like some little silver, like diamond teeth jewelry, even like the things like right here and over here, that would look hard, like real hard. And I feel like it's because of my hair my hair and like the vibe of this is giving me Tiana Taylor I don't know why but I feel like it it's giving this was a vibe so hopefully my clips you know go together and it comes out how I want it bruh Fashion Nova y'all is wrong for this like bruh all I did was try to lift the pants up and then the waist is big so you know we got a clip but baby even in the cargoes don't play with her the body is bodying Stop playing. So guys, I changed my outfit. Um, I'm gonna go to the gym. I told you I'm going to the gym. It's 2.58. It took me that long to get rid of the ring light and pick up most of the stuff. I still have to like tidy up like in my room or whatever from the filming. But I'm gonna leave that. I'm gonna rush out because now is almost time for traffic time, okay? So we're gonna leave. I think I'm gonna take y'all with me. I'm gonna rush out, grab the stuff from the supermarket because up that direction is where all the traffic is. Once I grab those things, I'm gonna turn back and try to get back over here before like 4.35. Oh wait, but school started. Oh my God, y'all. Okay, we're just gonna head out. Friends, say hi. You know they have not seen you in like forever. That is so crazy. I know, it's been, it's been a while. Say hi. Tell them that we, you know. Hey, y'all. Hey, <laughs> <Long> one. <laughs> oh, oh my God. But let me go grab these things. I'll be right back, y'all. Guys, why is it 95 degrees outside? I stepped out of the car and I felt like I stepped into a pot of water. It is so hot. I got the stuff for the stew peas. But let me tell you how I said I was going to go to Publix to get flowers. I want to go home. I want to go home. We're at the light right now. I'm waiting to turn. We're going to go to Chick-fil-A. I'm going to get like some tenders or something. Uh, just something kind of like light, kind of snackish. Not really snackish, but it's, you know, but not like a heavy, heavy meal. Because when I eat Chick-fil-A, I'm hungry in like a second. So I can definitely eat later. I just don't want to go to the gym like extremely hungry. And I know Chick-fil-A, you know, it's still fast food or whatever, but it's, it's tenders. It's chicken bursts, okay? And that's pretty much it. And I can feel the humidity through the glass. Like, I don't understand. I don't understand. It's 95 degrees. 100 degrees is boiling point. So we're close 
as ever to just like boiling up and i think it was like 98 degrees earlier it is so ghetto outside bro like i just need to stay inside from morning till evening i can't do this i can only come out when it's night or when it's like early morning because this is wild my abs are fighting for dear life because i like to eat out good morning well it's like 11 o'clock um i couldn't wake up this morning i was so tired and we're just getting the day started i'm in the line at starbucks we are going to redeem some points and i'm gonna get me a bente drink okay period with extra cold foam so that's what we're gonna get we're gonna get the oat milk the brown sugar oat milk shaken espresso with the um sweet cream vanilla sweet cream cold foam and i'm gonna get a little sandwich because i'm not gonna lie i'm so hungry so i'm gonna get a little sandwich and then we're on our way to bath and body works they have this buy to get two free candles and i don't have any candles in the house like i'm on the last one i'm gonna go get two candles and then get two for free of course and then we're gonna go back home to unbox the counter stools i'm gonna do a little tidying up at home today and then just chill you know but we gotta set the mood okay so we're getting the candles and then i'm gonna get some fresh flowers because we're got we got new bar stools we gotta have a whole vibe going on so that's what i want to do then i want to go to the gym and then i want to come back home and just snuggle on my couch like it's the perfect perfect friday night what is he ordering bro we've been here a while what is he ordering Uh. Okay, he's finally gone. Wow. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Thank you, Richard. Is there one coming with you in just a moment? Okay. Maybe they like packed up today. I put y'all in the cup holder. Ooh. I can see y'all. <laughs> what are we ordering again? Um. Thank you, Richard. Thanks, Can I start it for you? Hi. Can I have a bente size brown sugar oatmeal shake and espresso with vanilla sweet cream cold foam? Okay. And can I have extra cold foam, please? And do you guys have the chicken maple right now? Yeah. Would you like one of those? Yes, please. Anything else? Uh, no, that'll be all. Thirteen forty-seven for you. Okay. No problem. Thank you. I'm gonna see if y'all are gonna fall out. Okay. Oh my god, like, I found a little trick. My camera is sitting in the cup holder, but baby, when I get my drink, <laughs> you're gonna have to go. Y'all, I got my drink remade three times. The first one, I'm just like, why does that look like just milk? Like, that's not what the drink looks like. Can you please, you know, fix it? Okay, hold on, I'm making a turn. Cause these people really be got they really got me messed up. In three point four miles, turn yeah. left onto South Siri, Tree. Please stop because I'm annoyed. Y'all, so she made me the drink, okay? I ordered this drink several times. I know what the drink looks like. Like Starbucks, they drink look a certain way. So I got the drink and it just looked so milky and weird. And I'm like, hey, this doesn't look right. You know, can you remake it? Oh, it's because you ordered extra cold foam. Girl, I order extra cold foam all the time. No, the drink looks wrong. So she takes it back and the same person that made it wrong the first time remakes it. And she's like, okay, here you go. And I'm like, it looks the same. And I'm like, this is not what the drink is supposed to look like. Um, and then someone else came up and she's like, I know exactly what's wrong with it. Um, let me remake it. And she made it. And she's like, is this, is this better? And I'm like, perfect. This looks exactly like what the drink is supposed to look like. I'm sorry, guys. Like, I was so annoyed. Like, I was so annoyed about the drink. Like, 
you mess my coffee up and I get real tight, like real tight, because I'm just like, um, that's not what it's supposed to look like, and you just remake it, and then you remake it and you remake it wrong, and I wasn't gonna leave. I, I dead ass was, I dead ass wasn't gonna leave. So I'm just like, yeah, can you make it again? So they made it three times. Hey guys, um, I just came out of Publix. Listen, they did not have any white roses. I had to ask the guy to look in the back and know he brought like the two that he found. They look really not, not so right. They didn't look right, but I did take it, you know, but I don't think it's gonna last me long. This one looks sick. Something with this girl is not right. So I gotta go immediately put these in water. I have a lot of petals to take off the flower selection over here is just not it for me the Publix by my house is just not doing it and Trader Joe's is like a 30 minute drive almost oh my god I hate these flowers I really don't like them and I want to can I go return them you know what let's go home it's okay let's go home oh I'm going through it I'm going through it can you believe this is the box for one not to one of the things I have to figure out how to get all this down the stairs I folded that as much as I could. This is just a mess. There's so many boxes in it. I have to figure out how to drag this all down the stairs without having it fall apart. Way if your package is thing so secure, it scares me. Like, bro, it's like, it's so secure. It's like anybody took out a chair. Like, the entire time, I was trying to unbox this chair. I was trying to be cute on TikTok, trying to make, you know, a nice little unboxing moment, new furniture, baby. I don't know why they did these things so I don't even know what the word to use right now but with her secured these shears like lock them up tight 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 in the box and I don't know why they use so much packaging for one freaking chair oh my god I thought it was like a glass chair the amount of layers I had to go through just to get to the chair I'm tired I did one and it took me like 20 minutes just to get through the box to get the chair out Oh my god guys so 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 sorry my um my camera died while i was trying to do this um unboxing thing that was a disaster let me tell you how they package those things like so securely like i don't understand like we like the security but oh my god it was so much work i almost didn't want to like take the chairs out of the box and i had to go to the trash can like four times because it was so much like stuffing and padding but I just came back from the gym and I picked the camera up I'm drinking my protein I think they look really nice and let me tell you how Publix need to count their days because they didn't have much of like options for the flowers and when the guy brought the two that they had out to me they all looked like they was holding on to their life I still bought it my fault because when I tried putting it together I took out, out, usually I take out like three petals or, or like so, like the guard petals. I had to take out like five off some of them. And it looks like they're not going to last. And these roses were $17 for a dozen. I hate Publix. I'm not buying flowers over there no more. I think I'm going to do the drive to um to Trader Joe's, even though it's far. I'm going to have to do it. I'm going to have to just do that if I want flowers because I'm not with this. Let me show y'all though because i forgot i did it um so when i came in i'm like oh this cute and then guys it smells like fall in here because summer is just bugging out so we have the sweater every time i say it, we have sweater winter sweater winter okay so when i came back from the gym just now i was real deal happy because it smells like fall in here we have the sweater weather fragrance in the wall plugs i actually said that right i never said it say that right i have my candle i can't wait to go walk packs and take me my shower and we're just gonna lounge and i'm gonna light my candle and just feel very cozy but look at what i'm looking at this is what is looking like in here boo like wait ooh, i almost feel okay let me move this let me give you a little visual of what is going on when you come in Oh my god, I really, really love them. 
Um, we're going to ignore my carton that's on the floor because those are supposed to go at that window, but the guy is yet to come back to do it. But look at them. They are so good. Wow. I love them. I love them. Like, for real. Baby, what? They look so nice. Like, I'm like, ooh. Wow, it looks so good in here, bro. You see the rug that I saw on West Elm? When I get it and I put it over there, it's over. That rug is so amazing. It's gonna bring the whole space together. It's coming back in stock in October. When I put that thing together, baby, it's gonna be beautiful in here. And I already know the chairs that I'm getting to go over there. Like, it's gonna be so good in here. I'm glad that I opted for these because I wanted the Denver Modern look. Um, but I just, I couldn't pull the trigger. Like I was on the website so many times at the checkout. They're even emailing me, oh, we're gonna give you a discount. But I just couldn't pull the trigger because I changed my mind so often. I don't wanna spend 2000 and a little bit on three stools. Like, I don't know. But these look stunning, they're doing the job. And what I love is that it's not white. It's more like of a cream kind of color. Will it focus? So it's not like stark white like my sofa. It won't like be dirty. If you get what I mean it's more like a cream so I don't think it'll look any kind of ways with wear I feel like it will wear well you see the color it's not fully white but it's just like amazing let me drink my protein and take Paxton out oh my god guys it is looking so delicious in here let me stop I don't know why I use words like that but it's looking so yummy so cozy, so good. Oh my goodness. A vibe. A vibe. Okay. I love nighttime. I like when all the lights go out and the apartment just looks really cozy. I wish I could turn this down so y'all could see it because it's not as bright as it looks. Wow. And then the waterfall is just so beautiful. Like, I was looking at it. I'm just like, y'all, it's just such a mood right now. Hey babes, happy, happy Saturday. I just ran to the store to get a few things. Um, I don't have nothing planned today besides I'm gonna go to the gym. And that's it, to be honest. I'm just gonna chill, y'all, I'm really, just been chill. I've been chilling. I feel so exhausted. I don't know why. So I've just been chilling. Uh, I went to get a few things that I might need for dinner. I wanted to make some coleslaw. So I got this, some onions because I didn't have any onions. More avocado. And then I bought these in the smaller bottles the other day and I loved how it tastes. So I got some more of that green juice. Got some watermelon. I'm gonna cut, cut these up and put some Asian. That's what it's called. That's that little spicy thing on there. A seasoning. So that's that. Me and the muffins. We need to stop with these muffins because I'm seeing them in my sides. Okay. I love these muffins. The chocolate chip and the blueberry. Oh my god. I got some hot dog buns because I bought some hot dogs the other day, but I didn't have anything to put them in. Got some coffee. Gonna make coffee in the house today. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I feel so groggy and it's because my workout was just thrown off this week where I skipped the day and then I had to eat. Um, not eat, I had to have my pre-workout in the evening to go to the gym in the evening and it's just way too much caffeine. Too close to bedtime. I got some baking soda for the refrigerator because I don't know, it be smelling a little weird right now. So that means I need to change it. I never remember to change it, so there's that and then Stopped at Duncan. I got a croissant and some hash browns. I'm gonna make my coffee. That's pretty much it. Hey y'all, let me tell you how I got all these things without paying for them. Well, I paid for them, but I didn't really pay for them. Got it with my money. AT&T sent me this like email, you know, that they have, they're gonna, they're, they're rewarding me for being a member for over a year or something like that. I don't remember, so. They sent me the gift card. They said they're gonna send me a Visa card of $50. I didn't think it was like real. And then they sent it, got it in the mail, and I just like um, activated it. It works, baby. So I paid for my groceries and my breakfast through that $50. So that's good. 
I definitely think this, wow, this said from, wait, this said July. Oh no, changed by July 6th. Now it's August, oh my God. So this one I should change by September. I don't know why I'm even writing the date because I still don't change them. Whatever, I can't find a pen, so let's just put that one in there. And the one in this refrigerator. Yeah, this thing said change by July. It's August. And I couldn't find these and I couldn't be bothered to search. So I just got the regular baking soda one. So I'm just gonna open it to the side and just leave it. Y'all, let me go make my coffee because I'm tired and I'm hungry. Y'all, I had to learn how to make my own cold brew with cold foam. Mm. Ooh. Mm -hmm. It's giving Starbucks. Oh my god. Mm. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. So good. I'm sorry. If you don't get the foam like that, if you don't get that thing, then it's not. It's not. Mm. <laughs> Let me stop. I love it. Let me go and enjoy my breakfast. Mm -mm. Yeah, it's me instantly getting happy because I had that first couple of sips of coffee. <laughs> I found this cold brew recipe, like the um the cold foam recipe on Pinterest. Oh my god, the first one I tried, it was so nasty. I put it on the sink. It tasted like milk. This, mm. like this oh my god y'all i'm back from the gym what is oh something felt real heavy in my bag but it's my headsets look at how i look i miss but we did five out of five um i'm gonna go walk paxson i can wash my hair at some point because i'm going to church tomorrow and yeah this cannot be the look but we done worked you know legs today you see the little, you know, the definition and stuff. <laughs> we work legs. And y'all already know. It's just dumping back there, okay? Like, it's growing. Let me go walk Paxson. And it's about to rain. Ben said it was going to rain since 4. So I'm going to go take him. Because now it's like 5.46. And I'm going to come back and eat some food. Take a shower. Wash my hair. And just chill. Guys, I just took a shower, right? And I washed my hair. Did it in the little wrap thing. Like how my stylist does it. Hold on. I'm watching something on YouTube. But I'm going to let it dry. I need to do some skincare. And that's the next thing I need to do. Oh, my God. I need to get my eyebrows retouched. My microblading, um, micro shading, because it's a combination. It needs to get retouched done i'm due for a touch-up if not if i feel like if i wait longer than the next two months i'm gonna have to get like a full like like renewal of my brows because it's very close to the cutoff of getting a retouch but i don't want to do it i want to do it and i don't want to do it because if y'all was here like before my micro shading experience is not like the typical my micro shading it don't heal like mine usually it starts peeling in seven days mine didn't start peeling till like three weeks and i was looking crazy it took a while for my eyebrows to be normal and then i had to go get a retouch the same procedure again so i want to go get them done like retouched but i just don't want to deal with the healing process but i love like you know my eyebrows anyways i'm gonna put some moisturizer on i wash my face i 
did a shower, a really good shower. I did my scrub, I did everything. So now I'm just gonna put some moisturizer on and hopefully my hair dries a little bit by the time, you know, it's really bedtime, then I can take some of this off and just put a regular headscarf on. I wanna do my makeup tomorrow morning to go to church. But last week I did my makeup y'all and I was late. I was late. I parked in the nosebleeds. Like I parked really far in overflow parking. That wasn't cool. So I'm trying to see if I can wake up and my makeup I really want to since I'm around my hair. I had an outfit in mind because I wanted to do a get dressed for church. But then I forgot that my toe, my toes are looking nasty because I had the ingrown nail surgery thing. And since then I haven't gotten my toes done because it took a while to heal. And also it still looks like it's not fully like, you know, normal. So I think I have to wait maybe another week before I can get my toes done. So I have to figure out a way to wear like sneakers. Guys, I literally just took off my pillows off the bed and I threw them over there in the corner. But we're just gonna chill a little bit in the bed. I don't know why this is on Samsung's fireplace because I don't necessarily like their fireplace. It's a little like not the one that I like. I like when it's more like orange looking. But we're gonna watch something. I started watching this thing on Netflix, so we're gonna watch that. My foundation is getting a little bit too light for me because I am extremely tanned. Like, do you see how I look so like burnt, kind of orange looking? I don't look like my regular color. So, I don't know. I might have to go foundation shopping to get a darker shade for the rest of the summer based on how the sun is just like sunning. But I'm just gonna watch this and chill. I'm about to drink my protein because I didn't have it after the gym. So I'm gonna have this protein. Yeah, I wore these dunks last week to church. I don't care, I'm wearing them again. But this is the fit and we are ready. Noel is already on the way. He's at Starbucks, he's getting us coffee so I don't have to stop. So I'm gonna see you guys after church. I haven't seen him in a while, while he's alive. And we're not going to Noel's house today guys. We're gonna go tomorrow. Wow, for sure. Yeah, it's hot and I gotta go feed Paxton. <laughs> 